All right, great. Now we are on over at the login or registration page. Really, it's the home page, uh, but it's the first thing that I'd recommend you doing. So uh, if you're at a computer to get to the site, you can simply type in lifewayworship.com. Uh, you'll also see it might roll over to worship.lifeway.com. That's fine. You're still in the right place. Uh, so again, my recommendation is the first thing, let's go on over to login and register. Now, Lifeway Worship has recently migrated uh, going from a username and password to using just simply an email address to log in with. So for those who already log in to lifeway.com, that same email address and password will work just fine for logging into lifewayworship.com. For those who have an existing media library who've not gone through this migration process, there's a helpful little video for you to see and that'll step you right on through it. Uh, so in going to it, we're gonna see that we have an option to either log in with your Lifeway account or create a Lifeway account. So if you've never logged in with an email address, this is the place to do it. We'll simply click on there and you'll see the options for your first name, last name, email address, creating a password, letting you know it's not a robot and you are in. Uh, at that point, it might ask if you have an existing library, if you've never done this before. Otherwise, you'll just put in the name of the church and you'll be on in. For this purpose right here, I'll just go ahead and create a registration. And this will demonstrate how to get on in. You might get a little security validation here. Let's see how I do with the crosswalks. Verified, I'm not a robot, so this is a good start. Hopefully, uh, all of you non-robots have gotten in as well. Okay, so we're into the site. Here's where it asks if I have an existing media library at lifeforworship.com. I'm gonna simply click no at this point. Uh, I'll put in the name of the church, uh, First Baptist Church. Let's save that profile and we are on in. So that gets you registered and logged in to the website. And from this point, we can start exploring the homepage.